It's Val. Hey, everybody. It's Michelle. Welcome to the Wind Down. From the Wind Down TV. Come on, oh, y'all. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Wind Down. To all of our new and returning subscribers, thanks for joining us again today. Newbies, hit the subscribe and notification button for all our future episodes. And today we are trying... We are trying Pinot Grigio. I'm trying Jay Ducey, and it's from the Passe Robles region. Michelle, what are you trying? I'm trying a uh, Lunaria. I'm excited about this. I'll tell you why in a second. Okay. Lunaria um, Pinot Grigio okay. Sparkling. <gasps> no, you're, oh no. I totally am. I oh totally no. Am. You Boom. Oh, yes. oh, okay. Mic drop oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, really? and you didn't wait for me with you. Plain oh, dirty, plain oh dirty. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Again, you guys, I'm trying J. Ducey. It is from Paso Robles, and it is a Pinot Grigio. So I'm excited to, to really let you guys know what I'm tasting because I really haven't tried tons and tons of Pinot Grigios that I've liked. So this is, I'm open. That's part of what our motto is. We're open to trying and learning, and never closing the door and saying, we don't want to try that again. So I'm open. And actually, I actually like this. J. Ducey is female owned and operated. J. Ducey Wines is guided by the head winemaker and owner, Janelle Ducey. Janelle was born and raised on the Ducey Vineyard, where her grandfather, Dante, taught her about the old world Italian style way of winemaking. The Ducey family heritage is part of the Paso Robles history, and it dates back to the 1920s. The sustainable farming practices that were imp implemented by Janelle's great grandparents over 90 years ago, they're still being used today in Paso Robles and all over throughout the winemaking industry. The unique handcrafted quality of J. Ducey wines results from Janelle's intimate involvement with every step of the winemaking process. I mean, so because she grew up all on, the, I mean, grew up, I mean, born and raised and like checking out <laughs> and her grandfather, like saying, all right, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. She has gone from, she rides a tractor, she's out there picking the grapes, she's out there bottling, I mean, she's out there doing all the fermenting, making sure that everything is right. I mean, she has intimate knowledge of every single, yeah, all of every single step in the winemaking process for their winery. And I think that is just awesome. And, you know, for her to be able to jump in there at any given moment in any capacity and and yeah. and she knows what she's doing, that's awesome. Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers to you. We like that. Exactly. We're all about that. One of her, her motto, she says yeah. that winemaking is part science, part art, and 100% passion. All right, so let me tell you guys some of the taste. I'm um, tasting it's citrus and honeydew melon. Mm, a little bit of pear. Like a little mm, ave on the back, but a little tartness, but not too, not too much. It's just okay. a crisp. A little apple. A very refreshing. I can see this on any day this summer, any day, with a picnic, with seafood, with some chicken. I think it can go with anything. So you guys, if you find these videos informative and want us to do more, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. It says spontaneous fermentations without added sulfites, without disgorging natural stabilization. Listen, this thing is, uh, look at this. I've never had anything Pinot Grigio sparkling anything yet. Look at this. This is like peach and rose, orange, pink. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And it has like notes of red berries on the nose. It's bright, it's dry, it's fun. 
but for me the first thing that comes to mind when i when i taste it is like a great it's like a rind soda so like grapefruit rind orange rind like any rind you get your hands it's just a nice pet knack i'm so impressed and in love with this this um sparkler i i just definitely i think you're gonna like it too it's definitely something i need to have in the fridge for summer it has like a nice dry um toasty finish it's very bright you get pears apples strawberries peach it's very refreshing and it's thoroughly enjoyable it's not funky not at all and it's a great beginner for a pet nap this is it right here naria Cantina Arsonia is an award-winning cooperative in Abruzzo, specializing in native grapes from the region, including Montepulciano de Abruzzo, Cococciola, and Pecorino. Lunaria is a brand of Cantina Arsonia for organic, biodynamic, and vegan-certified wines. Formed in 1964, this co-op consists of a group of 600 farmers committed to sustainable farming, as well as the conservation of the Magellan National Park one of the most intact natural parks in Europe. The winery adopted organic practices in 1995 and in 2003 started to convert from organic to biodynamic. Hello. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Hey, ladies. How are you? Great. Great. How are you? Good. What's going on? Well, today we're doing some Pinot Grigio. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mine is called J. Ducey and it's from the Paso Robles region. And what do you got over here? Um, I have Lunaria Pinot Grigio Sparkling yeah. Pet Nats. Gotcha. It's okay. fancy. I'm fancy today. So I'm guessing you want to know what to eat with this stuff. Yes, we do. My favorite thing of Pinot Grigio. We ain't calling you for your good look. Okay. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, okay. That's true. Anyway, uh, Freaky Misty is a crowd pleaser. It could be... Made of, it could be just calamari fritti, but it could also be vegetables. It could be zucchini, zucchini flowers. And, and, you know, it's a great way to kick off a meal on a warm summer day. Ooh, I like that. It goes good with the peanut fridge. Crowd pleaser. We like crowd pleasers. I'll tell you, this wine is a crowd pleaser. So it's Valletta's, right, B? Yes, I love mine. I will definitely be having mine again. And we might actually share with you, Chef, if you ever invite us over for dinner, but that's another topic. Right. So cheers <laughs> to you. Cheers, and Chef. And adios. Cheers, <laughs> Take care. Bye, Chef. Bye, Chef. <laughs> okay, you guys, remember, I am drinking. So I want to show you the bottle again. I am drinking J. Ducey. It's a Pinot Grigio out of Paso Robles. I'm having Lunaria Pinot Grigio Sparkling Pitna. What? Wow. Yes. Wow. You need to get your wow. hands on both of these wines because they're both fabulous and you will definitely enjoy them for sure. Okay. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for all future episodes. And also comment down below and tell us some of your wonderful Pinot Grigio so that we can try them on our show. And check out our other videos on the Wine on TV channel where we chat about this. <laughs> Cheers everyone till we drink together again. Cheers everybody.